Got balls the size of watermelons, these boys. G'day world, Craig here from Bendigo Hydro Blasting back on the whip 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 with another riveting episode on reassembling the CBR. Uh, there's not many bits left in the tubs now, so today we're going to drag the radiator assembly out and see if we can make that look a bit sexier than what it is, because that's what I do. I make uh, old shit look sexy. Starts with the uh, bathroom mirror every morning. As you can see down there from the tub of bits, there's not a lot left in there, so we'll drag this thing out. Oh, it looks pretty shitty. Oh, well, we'll put that on the bench. Um, we'll have a bit of a look and see what we can do with it. Okay, first thing we might do, I think, is uh, we'll pull that uh, radiator shroud off. We'll get rid of the fan, we'll take that off, pull the brackets off, and we'll uh, break it down into little bits that are a bit more manageable, and um, then we'll look at blasting the core, I think. Well, I've got that radiator pulled down somewhat. Um, we'll have a look at the bloody crap build up in here. We'll um, put that in the machine. We'll mask it up with race tape so that uh, we don't get glass and shit inside it. Mm, that doesn't look real flash there, but um, the blasting process will get rid of all that shit. All right, we'll take that up. We'll put it in the machine and um, give that a wash. Stripping this down would have been a good job for the apprentice, but unfortunately she's at school at the moment and while we're on the subject of the apprentice i've had quite a few people message me wanting to see how she's coming along with her training well, i've mentioned this to puna but she said i don't pay her enough to be making movies hmm. or oh, never so what i've done is set up a buy me a coffee page where you guys can uh, show her a bit of support and hopefully change her mind about working on camera I've included a link on my channel homepage that should allow you to donate and buy her a coffee or another handbag. Uh, and I'll try to include a link in the video description as well. Any Skrilla from this will uh, go directly to Poonar and hopefully encourage her to do a bit more on screen work. Uh, anyhow, we better get back to that radiator. Well, I've sealed up that radiator with race tape. I've bunged her in the TARDIS here. We're going to give her a wash. I probably won't there. Yeah, I won't bore you with uh, in cabinet uh, processes. I've probably done that to death. So have a look at that. Next time you see it, it'll be a nice bright aluminium colour. And have a look at that handpiece. I tell you what, if you're going to get into this blast and caper, go big or go home. Well, there's that radiator out of the machine. That's looking very lovely. I could put a coat of paint back on that, but uh, they make these out of aluminium so they dissipate the heat. Now, putting paint on them is just going to insulate them. So, we'll move on to the uh, the next bit now. Well, I've got you. Have a look at all this KX500 stuff that I've just done for a bloke. Got balls the size of watermelons, these boys. Anyhow, we'll go and have a look at the uh, next bit. Well, we can't go putting that fan on looking like that. What we'll do is we'll uh, strip the motor and fan out of that and um, blast the the outer casing and those brackets and um, we'll stick a coat of aluminium coloured paint on those. There's the fan mount there and the uh, radiator mount brackets. Coat of paint on those. They've been blasted and painted. We might actually... Um, Give this shroud or this uh, cow thing here a bit of a bit of a blast, and we might paint that the same colour. What the hell? And here we have all the parts all cleaned up, painted, ready to go back together. So we'll uh, chuck this back together and see how it all looks. Well, there's the radiator back on the bike, all plumbed up and ready to go. Next time I'm down the supermarket, I'll, um, I'll get myself some green cordial and we'll fill that system up. Well, thanks for watching, viewers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and uh, share it with your mates. And I'll catch you in a week or so when I'm putting more stuff back on. Uh, yibbity yibbity. That's all, folks.